In this video I'm showing how to perform a password recovery on a Cisco switch. In this demonstration I'll be using a Catalyst 2960, but this method works with many different models. So to begin you'll want to be connected to the switch by a console cable with your terminal program open, and you just plug the power cord in while holding the mode button. And you have to hold it down for a few seconds and then you'll see this message in your terminal application that the password recovery mechanism is enabled and then it's safe to let go of the mode button. The first command we want to type here is flash underscore init. The next command is load underscore helper. And then type dir flash. And basically what we're going to do here is rename the startup config file so that the switch will load a blank config and that enables us to log in without any credentials. And to do that, we're going to issue the command rename flash colon config.txt to flash colon config.txt.old. And then go ahead and type boot. All right, so once the switch gives us this prompt press return to get started, that means it's finished booting, so we can start giving it commands. And since we renamed the startup config, it thinks that it's a blank switch and loading up for the first time. So it's asking us to go into initial configuration, just say no, and go into enable. And the first step is to rename the startup config back to the original name. To do that, we use the command rename flash colon config.txt.old to flash colon config.txt. And now we wanna copy the startup config into the running config. To do that we use the command copy flash colon config.txt to system colon running dash config. And now we use config t to go into global configuration mode here. And this is where we can set our passwords. So first I'll set a line password and exit out of here. And then we'll also create a local account on the switch for telnet or SSH. secret admin. and then go ahead and save your config and you're done. So from this point on whenever you try to authenticate to the switch using either the console port or SSH it will use the credentials that we just set here. So just to do a test I exited out of the console port I'm going to say enter and then type admin and there you go. So that's all for this video hit the like button if it was helpful and thanks for viewing.